Today, I have a success story to share with all of you. This young man is 26 and says he's met a woman that he's going to make his future wife, and she has entirely changed his perspective on sex and love. Before I get into his comment, I need to give you some backstory. There was a YouTube video I did a few months back titled Red Pill is for Losers Part 2. There was a very interesting debate between two men and this subscriber left a comment the other day under that video. So I'm going to play the video now so you can understand what it's about if you haven't seen it and then we'll continue on with the video. Sleeping around and fucking around for your entire 20s. You're not even going to know what a healthy relationship looks like. Once you fuck a lot of women, you understand how they work and you get better with them. No, when, when you, you fuck a lot of women, you understand how to fuck women. That's the only thing you get. You don't know how to no. love a woman. You don't know how to take care of a woman. In fact, you probably you probably know the opposite if you've been through that many. Yeah. Anybody will tell you yeah. that. 100%. But if you found a woman that had fucked through 20 or 30 guys up to when she was 26, you think she'd know how to take care of you? Nope. It's, it's different for men and women. Tell me why it's different. Why do you think it's different? Men can fuck as many women as possible because we can get as many women pregnant. We can get 100 women pregnant today. A woman can only get pregnant, pregnant once in a year. That's why women are are wired to be with one man. But a man is wired to spread your seed. So you can be with as many women as possible. It doesn't change how you love a woman. I would encourage matter. you, you should talk to women. The kind of women that you want when you're 27, you should start talking to them now because they don't want to touch somebody like you with a I fucking 10-foot pole. They would not want anything to do with you. Now that you understand why Red Pill is indeed for losers, we're going to get into the comment of this subscriber. Now, I don't need to use the fake name Jimmy as this is a public comment and he uses his real identity. So shout out to Michael Astor. Your comment is on today's video. He says, I'm 26 and I've met the love of my life who's 21. Before her, I believed what this fool believed to a degree. He's referring to the young guy in the clip who's defending promiscuity. Now I just regret how I treated women and that I sullied my body time and time again for what is meant to be an action designed for love. I love my woman who I'm going to make my wife and now my entire perspective on sex and women is altered. Before we carry on, I want to stop it there and give it a breakdown. You see, you reap what you sow in life. And Michael paid the price in full. Sometimes learning things the hard way is the only way. But it doesn't always have to be that way. For those of you watching where you're perhaps frustrated or you're on the fence about keeping your purity because you're young, you're hanging around the wrong crowd, there is peer pressure. You, you hear other people who are having fun and enjoying their 20s. Just take a moment to pause and ask yourself if they're really making the right decision. It may seem like they're having fun now, but there's, there is always going to be a price to pay for that later on. Look at what Michael said. He believed what this red pillar believed to a degree, and that alone was enough influence to mislead him. And what happened? Now he regrets how he treated women. Completely changed his mind. He's repented and he regrets giving his body out time and time again. That's the complete opposite than what you heard in the clip that I played before. That young man was trying to defend sleeping around as if it was an achievement. If that were true, Michael wouldn't feel that way, would he? And there are many more cases where you see from men and women who do sleep around and regret it later on. And that's something you're gonna, you have to live with for the rest of your life. So for those of you watching and you're not sure about your values, let this be a warning to you. If you're considering sleeping around or you're curious to try it, I hope this changes your mind to keep your purity, to flee from a lifestyle of fornication. Because if you live that way just a few times, you will, you will regret it. And if it's not soon, it's going to be later. And as Michael said, meeting this woman, having a good woman in his life, has changed his entire perspective on sex and love. He's learned that sex isn't just for a meaningless one night stand. It's meant for a lifelong commitment. It's sacred, right? That's what it is designed for. 
for intimacy. And now you understand it too. And what's more beautiful about this situation is Michael and his girlfriend are young, 26 and 21. They're both in their most fertile and youthful years so they can have a family. They can have more time together to bond and share their life and grow old together. The amount of experiences and memories they are going to share because they've started at t- to be together at a young age is a blessing. And for those of you that are young watching, take the time to educate yourself about relationships so that you can prepare and start when you're young. Don't waste your 20s away. The longer you wait, the more regret you will have. That's what the Bible commands us. Young men and women get married. Because the more you remain single for the longest t- for the longer time, the more temptation there is. The higher the risk that you just lower your standards and settle for whatever's out there. Don't waste your time. There's a reason why in other generations throughout history, men and women got together at a young age. Because these values were ingrained into the lifestyle. Everywhere you looked back in the day, 50 years ago, 100 years ago or more, what happened? Most parents stayed together. They married for the right reasons. They gave a very clear blueprint that they passed down to their children through the lives they lived and the marriages they had. It was a good example. Masculine father, feminine mother. Boys were prepared to be husbands and fathers and girls were prepared to be wives and mothers. And nowadays, in the West, the youth is being taught the opposite. Men are told to be proud, have fun, watch pornography, get married later when you're 35 or you're 45. What are women told? Piss you a career. Right? Have a kid later when you're in your 30s. Freeze your eggs. Be ambitious. Be like a man. Right? Wifehood and motherhood is the patriarchy controlling you. Men are being taught that all women are the same and marriage is bad. All of these belief systems that you hear nowadays are not coming from God. And the result that it's having on the youth today is very evident. It's doing more harm than good because it's not from God. So get right with God. Learn about marriage and family and do things the right way, God's way. Furthermore, Michael says the following. Become the man who can protect and provide for her and she will be the woman who shows you love and compassion when you truly need it. Men lead, women follow. When you prepare to be a father and a husband, that becomes your standard. So you are more likely to select a woman who is also prepared for wifehood and motherhood. You're responsible for the woman you choose and she's responsible for the man she chooses. And men and women who have standards have those standards for a reason because they live that way themselves. Therefore, it is a righteous standard. It's moral and it's justifiable. He says it's work, but it's worth it. And it's how men and women were designed with each other in mind. Exactly. And that's the end of his email. But what a blessing this is for him, 26 and 21. Let this be an example to you people watching in your 20s. Don't let any more time waste by. Educate yourself, fill in your knowledge gap, get your lust under control, get right with God, and everything else will sort itself out. As a man, prepare and become a husband first when you're single. You must plan ahead for that role. For the ladies listening, learn from good moral traditional women about being a wife and a mother so that you can prepare and then you can present yourself accordingly. You can meet a man who has those values. Men, you can meet a woman who has those values. It's only harder to find a good woman if you're not a good man and vice versa. And most people think that you can just have a relationship based on what you see in society when the majority of people today are growing up in broken homes with bad parents who settled. One parent walked out, or not both parents walked out. Then they're influenced by everything that you see. And then they think they can get married based on that. You see more men and women today preparing for their careers and their businesses than they do for marriage and family. And you wonder why society is the way that it is. Take 
your life seriously. So I don't really have much to add to this other than what I stated. I just hope that this has been of value to you because I'm very proud to see how Michael has turned his life around. Even if you're watching and you've made a few mistakes in your life, there's always hope. There is always a way to turn another chapter and start fresh and learn from the mistakes you made in the past. But in this case, whether you made the mistakes or not, you can learn from the mistakes that Michael made and then look at his success that he's had. He prepared for the role of a husband. He's learned the value of love, pro providing, leading and protecting, and therefore he has a woman that appreciates that and she naturally falls into her traditional role as well. You do it God's way or you don't do it at all. With that said, hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you have any success stories like this, drop me an email, link in the description, or in the comment section if you're brave enough like Michael did. God bless all of you and your families. I'll see you all in the next one.